Hello, this is the final question, question 9 of the OCR Further Math Stats paper 2019. It's all about the cumulative distribution, which you, a distribution you should be familiar with. Um, the, and uh, the first part is actually about finding the, uh, combinate the cumulative function for some function of this cumulative distribution. Now, these questions can be quite tricky. Uh, and a little bit confusing but this one is actually not the not the hardest of these um it all basis we need the cumulative function which we've already got of the original um distribution we want to find the cumulative function of some combination some kind of function of that so by definition of the cumulative function that is we want to find whatever function that rep is represented by that so what we do is we arrange this to make t the subject, t over 2. And that, by definition, is the, by definition of the cumulative function, is f to t over 2. So in other words, that's 1 minus e to the minus 0 0.25 to the t over 2. So minus 1 over 8, basically. Now, I suppose we better fully define this. I'm not having a look to the scheme at the moment, whether they want the full definition. Now, this can sometimes be quite fiddly, but in this case, not so, because we've already got... Um, the limits are not going to change because they go from infinity to naught, basically. It's all it's defined over all positive numbers, so it's not really much to do, much else to do in this case. Normally, we'd have to change the limits here if that were, you know, based um, under certain conditions, you know, certain kind of, if the domain was restricted in some way, we'd have to change that. But we don't here, so we're done for part A. Part B is all about the um, finding the cumulative, um, not the cumulative, the expectation of a function of a random variable. And you're given, I think, the formula, I think, something like that written like that in the formula book the expectation of fx expectation of gx sorry where fx is a probability function of the original of the original that random variable so we need to find the uh, probability density function of that. We can get that from differentiating. You ought to be familiar with it anyway. But if you differentiate that function, we get a quarter e to the minus a quarter t. Okay, changing to fractions now. So be, uh, because the negative drops. Uh, so it's basically f stroke t. We've differentiated that to get that. So then to get we what we need, if we want the expectation of e to the kt, we need to integrate this times by e to the kt itself. So that's e to the kt, a quarter e to the minus quarter t. Between um, infinity and minus infinity, but of course the thing finishes at naught here. So we can say infinity to naught because t can't be less than naught here dt right well we need to do obviously the here we need to combine the exponentials well obviously it's obvious to me if you've got two exponentials together you can't it's the only way to go about it really infinity infinity to naught so combining using the rule of indices we've got a quarter e to the k minus a quarter t okay i'm going to uh, dt i'm going to because of course we need to integrate this in a sec so i'm going to tidy i'm going to put that as a kind of with a common denominator again infinity to naught e to the 4k minus 1 over 4t dt so integrating that um, is one quarter. Obviously, we need to times by the reciprocal of that. So that's 4 over 4k minus 1. e to the 4k minus 1 over 4t. 
infinity to naught. Right, now, um, obviously the four cancels there. Let's cancel out the four. Right, now here's the thing. Um, I think it talks, if we go back to your question, it talks about give a valid range of k. Of course, if, um, if k is too big, this is going to end up positive. This 4k minus 1 over 4 has got to be negative. Otherwise, the infinity... Uh, putting infinity into it is undefined it's going to go off to infinity itself so we require 4k minus 1 over 4 to be less than 0 so that this index as a whole is negative but then so we're assuming so assuming let's write it now it'd be appropriate to now say now assuming or 4k minus 1 over 4 is less than naught. In other words, k is less than a quarter, which is our answer to part of the question. Then we can say that this is equal to e to kt equals to, put infinity in there, we get naught. Take away uh, naught in, into our value of t here. So that's minus 1 over 4k minus 1. Um, e to the naught. Okay, so that comes to minus 1 over 4k minus 1, which of course is equal to 1 over 1 minus 4k. Just change it, uh, get it rid of the negative on top and bottom. Okay, so we've also, uh, I'll set I'll, for k, I've, I'll write that again. Valid, just in case, I'm sure they'll accept it written here because that was the time to write it. Okay. But that's uh, part B. Now part C um, is all about the exponential distribution. It's all about um, find the time interval within a Poisson process. So there's a connection between the Poisson and the exponential. Now, it can be a little bit confusing to look at to convert from one to the other. But in this particular case, it's not too bad because it's not a general case. It's a specific case. So what we do, um, let's just write our uh, cumulative distribution again. F theta is equal to 1 minus e to the minus quarter theta. Okay, for that's for our... Um, so that's F, let's write FT, sorry, that's just writing that out again. Right. Now, what we're going to do here, go, bear with me for a moment, is find the probability that t is greater than or equal to theta. And that's obviously equal to 1 minus 1 minus e to the minus a quarter theta, which is equal to e to the minus a quarter theta. Now, here's the thing. This represents a probability that... It takes longer that uh, the, the first occurrence occurs after some specific time frame, theta, say. It comes, occurs after that. Well, that is the same as there being no occurrences between naught and theta. So this represents probability. of no occurrences between 0 and theta. Now you should be familiar with this as a, uh, with the Poisson formula. So now we consider the Poisson with theta over 4, then here the probability that x is equal to naught is equal to e to the minus theta over 4, which is the same as, which are the, these two are the same, uh, same, so when 
lambda is equal to theta over 4. And there is always this connection between the exponential and Poisson. So you can always convert from one to the other. Say, when I ask you to do it in the general case, it can be a little bit confusing with lambdas and n's and things. But in this case, we're just considering a particular case. So it's not too bad. And I suppose the, the real key is this, recognising that the probability that there's no occurrences up to a particular point is the same as the probability that the first occurrence occurs at some time afterwards that. OK, um, and that's it. Paper done, question nine done, and therefore paper done. I hope you found this useful. Bye.